there are much more fake diamonds than the real diamonds. In this world, fakes are much greater than the truth. Today, I'm going to do the fact-checking based on the reports of the democratic side media, such as the New York Times, CNN, and USA Today. There's a suspicion that overnight, 130,000 votes were added to the tally in Michigan, and all of them went to Biden. In general, when the ballot counting is in progress, a single person can't have overwhelming votes at once. It needs to have other candidates' votes in between. It's a mystery that only Biden's vote increased by 130,000. About this, the Democratic side media New York Times did the fact-checking. All it was is there was an extra zero that got typed in, said Abigail Bowen, the election clerk in Michigan. So, it's being said that when the data was typed in, extra zero was input. This is what the New York Times fact-checked about this incident. So, it is true that 130,000 ballots were added to Biden. And NYT is claiming that this was a typo done by the election clerk in Michigan. And there is something strange here. About this same incident, another Democratic side media, USA Today, did the fact-checking. Let's see what they said. USA Today says that the typo was done by a media website, DDHQ. Many other press companies are suggesting different facts regarding the typo. And the significant fact is that it was indeed a typo. And even that that was a typo, to be frank, it is hard to believe that extra zero was mistakenly typed in during the ballot count of presidential election. Let's suppose that this was a typo. Then, what are the fake driver's licenses discovered in Michigan last July? Fox News released this news in July 29th. In practice, 20,000 fake driver's licenses were seized at O'Hare last July. Counterfeit IDs were mostly from China and Hong Kong, and many had the same photo but different names. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, the barcode on the fake Michigan licenses actually worked. In Michigan, where there were suspicions about ghost voters, windows were blocked and the observers were not able to see the ballot counting. The clerks at the ballot count location in Michigan came out and covered the window, blocking the observers. Regarding this, President Trump has mentioned that he's going to take legal actions. Ballot papers were dumped on a large scale in the United States and in particular in Pennsylvania, a bulk of ballot papers for President Trump was found in a trash can. Regarding this, the Democratic side media CNN did the fact check. CNN admitted that it is true that the ballot papers were dumped. There have been two incidents where ballots were found in a dumpster or trash can. 99 ballots heading to voters in New Jersey and 9 ballots incorrectly discarded by a temporary worker in Pennsylvania. Around 100 ballot papers were dumped. Regardless of how many votes were dumped, CNN has also acknowledged it as a fact that the ballot papers for President Trump were thrown away. Ballot count errors took place only in the Trump-leading swing states. Let's check out the news report by CNBC, another Democratic Party side media. In Georgia, there was a software issue while counting absentee ballots. And in Arizona, a marker pen, Sharpie, was given to the voter who was to vote for President Trump. About this, we can't yet say that this is a proven fact. However, Vote counting suddenly stopped in Arizona when over 500,000 votes were yet to be counted. Within 10 minutes, the third presidential candidate, Joe Jorgensen, lost over 40,000 votes in Pennsylvania. Is this another typo? And at present, Joe Jorgensen has about 76,000 votes. Compared to over 80,000 votes that was originally input, Joe Jorgensen votes decreased. So where did these votes go?